this video we are going to discuss about the static functions and static variables now the question is that what do you mean by static functions look at this function public static void main so this function is static function now what is the difference between the static functions and the instance methods the instance methods are the methods of a class and the static functions are the special functions and which behave differently so let me first create one class and i'm going to name it as my static class so this is normal class and in this class i will take two static functions so the name is public static void f1 and i will pass i just copy and paste and make another function and name it as f2 and here i take one static variable so static int x equals 12 and whenever this function parameter of this function f1 is int x and the first function job is to second function's parameter i take it as int a and the first function task is that it will return a value of x plus y or y plus x same thing and here this one will return you the modular function return mod x by a so it's x by a and uh, spelling wrong so it should be return this is still wrong okay let me check the return type first make it int this return type because they are returning the values int and uh, this one should be return t u r n so x modular 3 and the y 2x now this class is just a normal class with have a static variable and the two static functions now just see that how do we call these static functions so we call them just by the name of the class and the name of the function name of the class dot name of the function we do not create the object of static classes like this and uh, this is not actually a static class this is a class which has static function so now how will i access these static so I write the mod as x mod a and now I go back into my main function. So just remember that this class has two static function f1 and f2 and one static variable that is x. And these two class take the y and a as the parameter. So let me go into control function and then there you will see that int x is just 12 is static and this declaration you look at the declaration type that how i have declared them static int and static now here i this is again a static function in this okay so this is a static int f1 and this is static function also is static so now you see saw that in the previous video we just created the object with the new operator and then new keyword you can say and here now how we are going to call those function so just write my class and then dot f1 so the static functions are called with the name of the class and dot operation so here i take int a is 11 and int b as 4 and then I simply okay inside this I will pass a and uh, this is my parameter and in my static class dot f2 I pass b okay so 
I have to call them and when you call these functions they return values so I need to store them so I just want to store them only in A and B so the A which has 11 and B which has 4 now will be overwritten by the number returned by the function and I pass yeah so I need to print this A and B so I need uh, special functions like system.out.println not a special function but this is how we print so it is system dot out 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 not out is system dot out dot print ln okay print ln and I pass a so because a will be printed and then I just copy and paste it so this will print the value of B so one for A and one over wrong copy so this will print the value of A and then I just copy it nicely this time and paste it and make it as B okay so now this is done so you see that the A and the B will be overwritten by this one so A now here I have passed so why I am passing is 11 so 11 into 12 is 132 and the B which is this is so if second function if I X is divided by A means the 12 is divided by 4 the remainder will be 0 because that is the modular operator what it does so just let me run the application and you see that what you are going to get so the yes here 132 and 0 now if I change okay so now again I change this one as 5 so the 12 model 5 will be 2 okay this is all about this function and I will see that you can just simply Okay, this is true. This is done. Now subscribe to our channel and keep learning. This is so easy.